All right, welcome to the BST podcast. Um, we're going to do this more basically on a weekly basis. Uh, I'm looking forward to the 2020 season, doing a lot of new things. This is obviously one of them. Unfortunately, there's some news, like everybody knows, going across the world that is so kind of crazy. I know nobody has ever seen anything like this. It's leading a lot of people into a panic mode, uh, maybe in an equip mode or just stay in their home mode, kind of like we are right now, which is driving me crazy mode. And I need everybody to realize that this is temporary. The 2020 racing season will happen. And the good thing is uh, county leadership, for example, at El Paso County, I've spoken with them. Obviously, there's somewhat of a temporary shutdown for anything and everybody right now currently in Colorado in the service industry, the entertainment industry. But essentially, we can no longer do anything public related or anything to do with selling a ticket or having anybody more than 10 people plus involved. So that means, guess what? You can't race right now. The good thing is they're opening the doors at El Paso County Fairgrounds on April 19th. Our season opener is the 25th. Okay, that does mean we're missing out on our two hot laps that we have scheduled on the 4th and the 11th. But as of now, currently, because things are changing daily, our season opener at El Paso County is a go. April 25th will happen. All the divisions that are scheduled from the now 600s to the sprint cars, the stock cars, the sport mods, the hobbies, stock cars, compacts, dwarfs, it's on like Donkey Kong. So get your stuff ready. Uh, we're not throwing in the towel. We're not going to quit. 2020 will happen. So it's just imperative that everybody understands currently the current situation is good. The track will be open as long as things don't change. So we want everybody to get their stuff ready and get ready for El Paso. As far as Phillips County is concerned, it's a lot easier just due to the fact that we're starting later. Our season opener there is May 29th and 30th. Obviously, that's two and a half months away. I hope and pray that everything continues in a positive direction and they find a cure for this. But I believe Phillips County, without a shadow of a doubt, season. I talked with the commissioners today there. So currently, uh, with Phillips County, with the commissioners, they're they're on board. They're, they want to see the season. They mentioned today they're excited to have some entertainment out there. They're excited with the season. So currently, with BST Promotions, the two tracks that we promote, El Paso and Phillips County, the dates that we have scheduled from the get-go, which is April 25th and then May 29th and 30th, are definitely a go. Our tours, our tours that go along with our schedules, which obviously you've got the now 600s, that tour is intact. All those dates are good. The ASCS Elite North Series with the sprint cars, that's all intact. Those dates, same thing. Uh, you go into the CAT Tour with the IMCA stuff, that's still a go. And then, of course, the Tri-State Tour. So every everything currently in today's condition, which I believe it's the 20th, um, is, is on 110%. You can go to BST Racing. That's your best bet, WWWBST Racing. All of these schedules, all of our registration is printable on a PDF. So you can keep keep up there of course uh this is on facebook we'll share this on facebook as well as our youtube channel we'll continue to do these podcasts following this one uh today uh we had uh terry maddox from ascs there's an interview with him we have mike kennedy from goodland kansas talking about our tri-state and their schedule we had jerry hansen from the late models andy flood from the rmlsa matt firm from phillips county giving us an update what he's doing out there and then brad ernst so there's a, a multitude of prod podcasts to follow this one this is just kind of the state of the union address if you will with bst promotions uh, I want to know and tell everybody that everything's good as of right now. So hopefully we figure this deal out. And uh, I want you guys all to work on your cars. You're stuck at home, nothing else to do. Uh, Rod just went by. I got to get done with this stuff so I can go out and get our stock car ready, get everything ready. So while you guys are at home, get your stock cars, get your all your race cars ready. It doesn't matter what kind of car you have. Get it ready. Get ready for the season. Uh, a couple things that we've done already that – Need you guys to know, without the fans, this is no fun. Uh, we've done some promotions. 
that we already started. We're going to sell some $5 tickets to our season opener. I'll extend that. We talked about doing it for 200 people. I'll extend $5 tickets for our season opener on April 25th to the first 500 people. So a $15 ticket will cost you only $5. I hope that helps. I hope you guys get your friends and families to come out there. We're looking at having a rockabilly band. We're also talking about a car show, maybe some fireworks even. So we're going to add to our current show, make it as big as possible, blow it out of the park, do whatever we can. And along with those $5 tickets, and then obviously we always have discounts for senior and military. So we're going to do everything on our end to get the ball back rolling. I hope you guys share this stuff and get your friends out there. We're offering that $5 ticket, and like I said, I'm going to extend that from 200 from the first 200 because we've already sold like 100 tickets for our season opener, which is huge. Um, but I'll extend that to the first 500 tickets for $5. So if you guys want to do that, you can get on our website. You can call us, 720-404-0400. You can buy your advanced tickets. Uh, we'd like to sell them in groups of 10. It's just easy. A sheet of 10 tickets, 50 bucks gives you 10 tickets. If you need to break it up, just tell me. But uh, please get on board on that deal and realize that the 2020 season is right around the corner. I'd like to thank everybody. And once again, you can go to our website, bstracing.com. You can call the Dirt Track Hotline, 720-404-0400. And then make sure you catch all of our podcasts that we've done today along with the ones coming up. Thank you.